Well, now with head coach of the Riders, Rob Bannon, let's go after an extremely successful awards night, Rob. It's awesome. Uh, I think that, um, you know, especially with the year that we had, winning the playoff championship last Sunday, to come here and spend time with the fans and the sponsors, especially the sponsors, they've been amazing for us this year, put us in the position where we're at and having it in the Morningside Arena, a special night. And Tyler Bernardini, Eric Robertson stepping down from the game. Yeah. Almost a bit of a surprise when people do that, isn't it? Sad, really. Like, you know, both guys are great players. Uh, we'll miss them tremendously. But both are good dudes, good guys, you know, and I think that's like the human element of it is, um, you know, hits you hard because, you know, you spend all these times with these guys and you, you, you bond, but guys move on. And so, you know, a little sad, but... Um, I'm very proud of those two guys for not only what they did on the court, but off the court as well. They were very good in the community. You were very clear on drawing a line under this season and kind of moving forward. And that's what you've done all the time, isn't it, really? Yeah, we, we listen. We're going to celebrate this one for a while. I think that um, we deserve it. Um, our guys were awesome. But once we get together next season, there'll be no talk of, of what we did in the past. You move on and... You keep plugging forward, but um, we have a great uh, situation here. Uh, it's a great time to be a Riders fan. And I said to Tyler, he's seen the club evolve into this place as well as everything else over his four years here. Yeah, John, you know, I mean, when we first started talking, um, you know, we were struggling to find venues for practice and for games. Um, but now we have our own facility. We're here every day, and um, you know, we're the kind of team that wants to continue to grow. So. Hopefully that will keep rolling and make good decisions and um, be bigger and better in the future. I mentioned you've been around 10 years. I remember coming to your place quite often to do little interviews about who, who we might be signing and stuff. Yeah, we used to come. We used to come over to the house, a <laughs> cup of tea. Uh, but John, I have to say, uh, you're a big believer. You're a big believer in our, our club, and uh, the initial uh, coverage from you really put us in a good situation early on. And uh, I thank you for that. Thank you, Rob. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but, you know, um, moving forward, players have got to get sorted out with deals. It's a, it's a, I mean, you go over to the States for a while and that sort of thing. You're doing that again? This year, we don't, I don't know. I mean, it may be more around Leicester than in the U.S. Um, I'm getting married, so um, that's, that's going to be a, um, yeah. I'm getting uh, married next year, I see. Yeah, well, hey, congrats <laughs> to you as well. Uh, it's a lot to do when you get married, so maybe not a trip to the U.S. Listen, the players... We've already had discussions, and we'll see where we're at. I love these guys, and I want um, to find the best team possible, and the more players we can keep from this year, the better. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank John. You. Thanks, yeah. Phil. See you guys. Right. Cheers.